They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the Juniors. Another week, another episode, and we'll kick off tonight with the Junior Women's Champion, Kimberly Blight. Kimberly Blight, of course, your current Junior Women's Champion, and that is where she should be, in my humble opinion. Junior Women's Championship, um, well, currently four contenders, so it's not the biggest pack we've had uh, in the part, like in the past. And um, of course, Ariel Wolf now on Fight Night had several drafts. But let's meet her opponent. She's from Lima, Peru. It's Risa. And Risa is the current number one contender. There's a non title matchup. The actual title match is set for next week. And that, of course, features Kimberly Blight versus Risa for the Junior Women's Championship. Ding, ding, ding. We're underway for this matchup. Well, let's see how that's going to go. Blight will have to take the lead in this match. That's quite one thing that should be clear. But no matter what, it's going to be an exciting evening as we move on the final stage before the Global Offensive I pay per view. That's going to be the most interesting part that we'll see here tonight. Furthermore, what do we have on the card tonight? Uh, Liam Hardy taking on Velocity. Keith Elliott vs Axel Dieter Jr. A tag team match as well as Heston Puckett, the champion, uh, facing his final challenger, Johnny Gale, the number three in the rankings, before going up against Troy McQueen as 40 Juniors Championship. Add global offensive. But for now, it's Blight versus Risa. Nice power slam by Blight. They were wearing no glasses, so it's going to be a bit harder to see it. We're trying, we're trying. Two weeks we're getting a new pair of back. Oh, nice big boot by Blight. She can go for the cover now. Having a tiny bit of a cold, which usually happens during the weekend, I don't know why, but it happens. Recent now on the counter. Blight gets back up. Close line. Another one. Two close lines and a running close drop kick. Wow, okay. Standing Moonsault. A Shake That Booty Moonsault. Will that give it a victory? Cover. Two count. Risa went for the finish move. But now Blight. There we go. Clashing it hard. Oh man. Face first. And that's three. Here's your winner, Kimberly Blight. Good winner of this match. Deserved. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have here the number seven of the ranking, the general manager of the juniors, made his in-ring competition debut some two weeks ago, it's Liam 
Hardy. Already number seven of the rankings beat the the, the earlier rookies, uh, Velocity and Jindrax in the rankings. So good beginning by Liam Hardy. And of course, don't forget that all the shows are sponsored by OSWTV and the Wrestling Madness Podcast. And here is the number nine of the ranking for the Juniors Championship. It's Velocity. And of course, this is a ranked match, meaning this goes for your spot on the ranking. Will you rise up the ladder? Or will you fall down like a hard stone into a river and sink? Velocity seemed ready. Liam Hardy though. Of course, first match he had was at the last eye pay per view, the free fall eye pay per view against Axel Dieter Jr., where he surprisingly won his first ever match. Which might seem promising to most of us. Maybe it is. The same we had with Jessica Tunno, a senior referee. Former women's champion. So it goes to show you that everybody has a possibility of making it here. You only want to pay off your hard work. Working hard on everything, making sure everything's upgradable to the next level. As um, possibly quite soon, we'll go over to another level of quality, and that means uh, screen increments, making sure that it even looks better on your TV set or even on the RFPW network. We'll see it when it comes out the first. And uh, possibly the implementation of new graphs as well as uh, new tickers, you name it. Gonna make it a live spectacular each and every show. One count, not even. So a little bit under the weather. It can happen. Oh man. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, he's got it hooked. This is a good job by Liam Hardy. Is this that philosophy has to tap? It's got the stretch implemented. The longer he held it for, the better it is for Hardy. Oh, nice drop kick. Oh, look at that. No, he's going for the announce table. That's never any good, is it? Oh, just ragged the lid off. Thanks. Even our GM knows how to destroy the announce table now. That's a good thought. Just making sure that somebody's getting work. That's our kind of GM we have at the juniors. Making sure he has to hire someone to fix it. Giving people job opportunities. Good man, but that might make him lose, which is not good. One count. Oh, man. Oh, look at that, he floored him. And it might seem that the power was knocked out of velocity, 
Because here's your winner on fire knockout, Liam Hardy. Wow. Okay then. Wow, okay then. And then tingled up when it happened. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the number two of the ranking. Accompanied by Curtis Norman in number 10. It's Keith Elliott. The youngster from Setart, the Netherlands, made, made his return earlier this season. This year, I should say. So we've lost the track of seasons. We've had four of them. But here is his opponent. He is not ranked for on the ladder of the ranking for the Juniors Championship after he came back from his injury after yeah well getting defeated by Liam Hardy at the free fall eye pay-per-view this is Axel Dieter Jr. only Keith Elliott hasn't been uh, in my mind the Juniors champion but I don't know it could as well be let's just take a look at the fact or was he the TV champion? Really can't remember. Yeah, he was TV champion, Keith Elliott, for six days. And even also Juniors champion, 13 days. So all these three guys have held the Juniors championship. Uh, Axel to Junior for 47 days, uh, while Curtis Norman for 33 days. And go show you that anything can happen. Longest reigning uh, juniors champion, you want to know, I reckon. Uh, 89 days, Freddy Stahl. Who, of course, um, is the current RFPW champion. So let's see what he can make of it. There's been talk uh, backstage after the recent implementation of knockout uh, to the winning list as well as uh, counter and the AQ, uh, even meaning you lose your title if you lose, uh, if you win via DQ or get counted out. Uh, or lose via DQ, I'm sorry. As a champion. Um, that has been implemented. Uh, I've been talks of further increasing. Uh, the uniqueness of RFPW and uh, it will happen we can't tell you too much yet we will inform you though um, that it's also been uh, will be posted on a website quite soon the introduction of uh, in, comp in la 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 association with the Raging Falcon um, a customer card if you buy games at g2a.com via uh, the Raging Falcon or the RFPW ref link um, and you register with your email address um, you will gain uh, customer points per uh, euro or per dollar of value of uh, content or games you have purchased and via the customer card you'll be able to get some nice goodies for free of course by using your points You know that Lost in Sweden has been a uh, regular customer of us. Um, so thank you very much. He was also the first donator on the associated channel uh, of the Raging Falcon on the stream. That was quite a long time ago. I was there when we were scouting for a network, for a live network to be uh, implementing on. That seemed to work out uh, as we're already partnered uh, for nearly a year now, so that's good. Oh, look at that! Nice suplex! Dieter Jr. No! Close! But so close, yet so far away, they always say. Oh man, again! Quite close, but not enough. I mean, it can be quite annoying if it doesn't work out the way you want it to be. But yeah, you don't always control it. Oh, Elliot is feeling it. 
Here we go. Elliot over the top. Grasping the legs. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner by pinfall. Keith Elliot. Good as Norman checking Elliot whether he's okay. This is quite an aggravating match. Good intensity. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tag team contest scheduled for one fall. And then, of course, it'll also inflict the Genius Championship singles ranking. Introducing first the number five of the ranking, Ryan Sin. Recent debutant and doing quite well in fifth place. Good to see that is going on around. And he has his partner, the number eight of the ranking from Vienna, Austria. It's Tyler Jindrax. Got it in the watch time. He's definitely feeling it. We're on this mini tour this week as we come live to you tonight from Maastricht, the Netherlands. The final stop before the Global Offensive IEP pay per view at the RFPW Arena in Wattenberg, the Netherlands. And let's see where that's going to need us. Around 20 minutes of driving uh, from where we are now to Wattenberg. So let's see where that's going to lead us. Let's meet the opposing team first. The number four of the Junior Championship rank letter ranking, it's Rue LaRue. And Rue LaRue is one of the most iconic ones in on the juniors. People love his clothing style, especially these hairstyles. They say it's looking good. Let's keep that going. Maybe it's time for Rue LaRue. Never could really stab at the pace, but this guy might do so. He's the current number one contender and will face Heston Bucket for the Genius Championship at Global Offensive. It's Troy Marquinas. Came in in season four as protege of the RFPW owner. And look at where he's at. Take an in-depth at the profile of Troy McQueeners. Why shall we? No, nope, he's not there. Oh, that's that's quite sad. He's in there. Probably look him up anyway. Of course, all that information is available on the RFPW Wiki, RegiFalconProWrestling.Wiki.com And Troy McQueen has made his debut on the 19th of uh, February this year. Of course, from Honolulu White, 97 kilos, age 17. Might be 18 now, we haven't updated that in a while. One time Dutch champion as well as a Junior TV champion. So that goes to show you some stats. 10 minute time limit set to a tag team match as of now to avoid it running long. We don't want shows the two tag team matches to run over three hours. That would be madness. So therefore we've chosen this practical input. And I set 13 matches uh, earlier set on earlier shows at the Global Offensive I pay view 7 ranking matches and 6 championship matches so that's going to be something. All kinds of festivities going on around the I pay per view. So for me and greets, VIP tickets displayed. VIP tickets sold I mean not displayed. Sold out crowd for the Global Offensive Eye pay per view. 1200 live in attendance. And of course, available to watch on twitch.tv slash the Raging Falcon. 
as well as later on on the RFPW network for free of course then with regular advertisements McQueen is knocked down by Jindrax no LaRue says no and when LaRue says no you can count on it that it won't that it will stay a no look at that McQueen is in the corner now with uh, Sin Jindrax and Sin tag Sin the legal man now from the top rope oh my goodness me on the back got to be kidding me goes for ruler Roo, not a wise decision that's come, co gonna come and haunt you Sin trying to capitalize on the minor uh, hold uh, by Jindrax onto McQueenus that it will be that long two count not even okay McQueen is now nice suplex tags in LaRue Rue is in the ring right now goes for the cover yeah that's what I would do one count the noise and only got to be enough LaRue now yes the opening ah oh, two broken up by Jindrax so close though Nice neck breaker. LaRue and McQueen is a bit taller than uh, Chindrax and Sin. Might come and display with the length. Oh, nearly. Good tactics by LaRue and McQueen is. Oh, he's getting the stretch in. Referee, look at it. Look at it. He's tapping. Yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Rula Roo and Troy Marquinas. Deserve to win, only the referee was a bit late. But good, he made it worthwhile. Ryan soon had to tab out. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match is scheduled for one for introducing first from Haiku Hawaii. He's the current juniors champion, Eston Pocket. Let's see what he can do. I'm curious about that. Set. We've got many figures walking around here, but we'll get him. We're getting an extraordinary um, technical upgrade soon. So let's see what that's going to bring us. Here's the current number three of the ranking from England. It's Johnny Gill. gonna be some work to get that technical upgrade done it's gonna take us some more time but you might be able to expect it in one or two months so let's see what that's gonna bring us ding 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 and we're underway What we do know is, is that our pack seems to be growing. We had 63 subscribers last night, which is amazing. Let's hope we can continue on in that. Eston Pocket, two matches, two nights. Let's see what that's going to bring for Eston Pocket. Might just be that he loses it tonight and just uh, wins it. Loses twice and wins twice, you never know. Or even draws twice, just might happen. Oh man, nice ADT. Oh man, 
Nice kick to the back of the head. Well, let's see what this main event can bring us here today. My call is getting worse by the minute. This is not good. <laughs> Let's hope it's over soon. <laughs> Rather sooner than later. Oh man, nice. Nicely done. Gil. Oh man. Nice package driver, package powerbomb, couldn't really tell the difference, <laughs> not too good. Stretch applied, pocket in despair. No, 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 not yet, just might be soon. Double leg drop kick. Gill. Oh, in the corner, nicely packed. It is. Here's your winner, Johnny Gill. What does that hold in store? McQueen has win tonight. Pocket loses. What will happen at the Global Offensive Eye Pay Per View? Who loses titles? Who moves up rankings? Who goes down them and who loses the titles? That at the Global Offensive IO pay per view live on twitch.tv slash the Raging Falcon. For tonight, it's been Joey Blight. Good night from the juniors from Hale and the Netherlands. Good night.